What's the difference between a geoid and an agate? Well, if you watched my short, you know the basics. But today, I'm going to get into more details of what the difference is between a geoid with beautiful crystals and an agate where you have lots of layering. But I promised the people who watched the short that I was gonna break some open. So here you go. Look at the beautiful crystals inside this geoid. You can see they've grown into that void space and we have well-defined crystals. You can watch to the end of the video. We have more samples to break open, but we can also have samples of amethyst. That's a variety of quartz. We have other minerals growing into that void space and we can have all kinds of shapes and sizes of voids. So they can be very large voids. You can see this is the edge of one void and it's in a volcanic rock. So we need to have rocks where we have void spaces available. And typically volcanic rocks have lots of gas bubbles that can then be infiltrated with water later on. And that's where we can grow beautiful crystals. Now, an agate is slightly different in that we are growing very thin layers of a particular mineral called chalcedony. And it grows as a gel around the outside layer of our agate, and it slowly hardens and builds up as it grows in towards the middle. And that's similar with our crystals. So here we have a crystal of gypsum, and the crystals have grown on either side of a fracture plane, and there's a line down the middle where the crystals met. But this isn't an agate, and it's not a geoid. But our agates, they have these beautiful layers, sometimes lots of beautiful colors, like the blue in this one, and sometimes they're a little more plain. What you look for in the field is you want to look for, in both cases, a slightly round spherical shape. It's going to potentially be a little bit hollow for the geoid, but not all geoids are going to be hollow in the middle. This sample, you can see there is well-defined crystals in it, but they've grown all together. Perhaps on the outer edge of this one, maybe further in, we would have a small void space still available. Not all spherical samples are going to be an agate or a geoid. This is a river-washed rock, very well-rounded, could be confused with a geoid, okay, um, but it's very smooth, and if we look closely at it, you can see uh, well-developed crystals. It's an igneous rock, and it's fairly dense. So I don't think I'm going to try to break that one open because I don't see evidence of void space. Similar with this one, there are a few small void spaces. But we can get other samples Okay, this is an irregular sample, but you have evidence of small voids all over the place. And so if we break this one open with our chisel, all right, safety glasses on, and a nice big mallet, all right, if we break this open, harder than I thought. So if it's calcutany, that's a very hard uh, microsilicate. So that is a very hard mineral. There we go. What do we got? Well, we've got some layering. It's filled in the void spaces. It's very micro crystalline uh, and it's very hard. So I would say it's an agate. There's still a void space there, but remember when the agate forms, it's growing into that void space. So it doesn't have to be completely filled in. This one I broke open earlier at the beginning of the video. You can see it's a geoid, well-defined crystals. Here's a sample, okay? It's a little rough and irregular on the outside, okay? So not as well smooth as this river-washed piece of igneous rock, okay? So minerals that are forming on the inside they're harder and stronger than the surrounding rock. And so with weathering and erosion, you get the agates showing up as little bumps or clasps in the rock. And so if we split this one open, I'm gonna start with a smaller chisel because you wanna to try to preserve what's inside. So if we go right with the big chisel and hammer at the beginning, then uh, you could 
break some of the crystals inside. So I want to start small and see what happens. There, that one split open a much easier. Now you can see it's not as beautiful, okay? We've got some powdery looking minerals, but you can see inside there are still well-developed uh, crystals down in there, and we don't have the layering forming that we do in our agates. So this was a geoid. So I hope you've learned the difference between a geoid and an agate, where we have well-defined crystals and layering in our agates. Thanks for watching.